to Isaiah. Isaiah 7. Isaiah 7. And this is a very famous prophecy that was given to the prophet 700 years before Bethlehem. Isaiah 7. And verse 11. Ask a sign for yourself from the Lord, your God. Make it deep as Sheol, or high as heaven. But Ahaz said, I will not ask or test the Lord. Then he said, Listen, O house of David, is it too small a thing for you to try the patience of men, that you'll also try the patience of my God as well? Therefore the Lord will give you himself a sign. Behold, a virgin will be with child and bear a son, and she will call his name Emmanuel. Now, this prophecy has a double meaning. Part of it was fulfilled then, but ultimately it's fulfilled in Bethlehem. In Hebrew, the word for with is im, the word for us is anu, and the word for God is El. Put it together. Im Anu El. Im Anu El. Im Anu El. Emmanuel. Emmanuel. And so it's written that 2,000 years ago in Bethlehem, in Bethlehem of Judea, was born a child. It's written in Matthew that it says this was to fulfill the word of the prophet that said, a child will be born and his name will be called Emmanuel, Emmanuel, God is with us. Now the child back, there was a child back in Isaiah's time who was just called that. But this child, it says, this child will be that. God is with us. Now all the religions of the world, all the religions from Orthodox Judaism, Hinduism, Buddhism, Islam, all religions of the world, are represented by a hand reaching up to God. It's a, what man is trying to reach heaven, trying to do enough good works, trying to get by to get into heaven, to touch God, touch the eternal. But this is the only faith in the world that is the opposite of all that. It is not a hand reaching up to heaven, it is a hand reaching down from heaven. It is heaven reaching us. God reaching down to us. What is Bethlehem is, cosmically, is God come down to us. The God of the universe, the God of who created the, the galaxies and the, all of the universe, Elohim, Yahweh, come down as a little baby in a manger. And so the name of the baby is, spiritually, Emmanuel. Elohim is with us. It's very profound. See, Jesus, Yeshua, is Emmanuel. Yeshua, Jesus, means salvation. Emmanuel means God is with us. Put it together. Salvation is God is with us. Believers think of, see, now there's a lot here now. See, believers often think of salvation as, we are, salvation is being freed from my problem. Salvation is not being freed from your problem. Salvation is not freed from, you are freed from our problem. Salvation is God is with us. See, believers often think that now that we are in God, we are therefore, we have no problems. That's not what it says. His name wasn't, we have no problems anymore. His name wasn't that. Think about it. It could have been. His name was, God is with us. Salvation is not the, a the absence of a problem. It's the presence of the answer. It's not that we escape from the problem, but that God is with us in our problems. God is with us in the world. Mary, Miriam was with child. God was with her. That was, now, having God in her womb, this is an awesome mystery to begin with, having God with us in any way, but having the baby did not take away her problems. In fact, it created some new ones. There was a scandal. Mary is pregnant. It's a scandal. But God is with us. 
Joseph, there's a scandal. You're marrying a woman who is loose and who is, who's a sinner. God is with us. Not that she was, but that's what they thought. No one understands us, but God is with us. We have, we're poor, but God is with us. We have to travel pregnant, in the, but God is with us. There's no room at the inn, but God is with us. Emmanuel doesn't say anything about your problems, doesn't say anything about your circumstance. It's God is with us in our circumstances. It's nothing about God is with us and therefore everything is going to go great at every moment. No, God is with us no matter what happens. The key is get your eyes off. We need to get our eyes off our circumstance. Get it on. God is with us. God didn't take Daniel out of the lion's den first. He was with him in the lion's den. Then he took him out. God didn't first take the Hebrews out of Egypt. First he said, I will come down and I will visit them in Egypt. Then he took them out. God didn't exempt them from the Red Sea and the charge of Pharaoh's army. He was with them. He was with them in his presence. And then he took them out. Bethlehem is God is with us. What does that mean? What does it mean? Look at the next chapter there. Look at Isaiah 8, verse 9. Most people never get beyond that, the other verse, but here's what it, as it goes on. Be broken, O peoples, be shattered. Give ear, all remote places of the earth. Gird yourself, yet be shattered. Gird yourself, be shattered. Devise a plan, but it won't, it'll be thwarted. State a proposal, but it will not stand because God is with us. Now, you know, how that, you know what's really there in Hebrew? Im anu el, Emmanuel, but it's not trans the same thing that's translated, the child will be called Emmanuel. Here it's not translated as that, it's a sentence. You can do whatever you want against us, but it will not stand because God is with us. God is with us. What has been come, what came down to Bethlehem, is called God is with us, but... If you turn, if you take that from the point of view of God, that's us saying God is with us. But from God's mouth, what he says is four of the most awesome words in Hebrew that appears throughout the Hebrew Scriptures, same thing, but from him. And he says, I am with you. I am with you. What is Bethlehem? I am with you. I thought tonight it would be good to look where it appears, where God says those beautiful, wonderful words, I am with you, because that's what Bethlehem's all about. And see what it means to get the full meaning of this, I am with you, because that's Bethlehem. To find out how you can receive more of Jonathan's teachings, to receive special free gifts, or get in touch, go to hopeoftheworld.org or call toll-free 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's hopeoftheworld.org or call 1-800-YESHUA-1. That's 1-800-937-4821. You can also get more at Jonathan Kahn's Facebook page or write us direct at Hope of the World, Box 1111, Lodi, New Jersey, 07644, USA.